Hey everyone and welcome back to Cooking Tamad Style. I'm Julian and I'm Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back guys and we're glad to have you guys here. Um and it's really been great these past few episodes and look, we really enjoy the comments and the pictures that you've been sending and a bunch of you have even been sending some ingredients. So today, Trisha and I decided to actually try one of those ingredients out and this ingredient was sent by Deo Antonio and um, Trisha, what are you doing today? I think it's called recipe, Julia, not ingredients. Oh my god, recipe. Sorry, but I'm thinking of the ingredients already because I'm already hungry. <laughs> All right, okay. so recipe. Yeah. <laughs> so recipe. Thanks again for sending in those recipes to us. All right, so today we are going to make tofu adobo. So it's a fusion of Australian cuisine because, of course, as most of you know, adobo is one of the classic Pinoy dishes. And here in Australia, vegetarian and vegan dishes are very popular. So we are combining the two and making tofu adobo. All right, Julian, how do we begin cooking this? All right, so first and foremost, now we need to know the ingredients. So, Trisha, I think we've prepared the ingredients. Um, and what are we going to start off with, Trisha? What ingredients do we need? Tofu adobo is a tofu adobo without tofu. So here, right. so I up the tofu and fried it because I like a bit of a crunch. And Julian wants it silkier, so he's using raw tofu later. Adobo is not adobo without garlic. Ta-da! I've mixed some garlic. The I've mixed three cloves of garlic, and Julian is using ready-to-use garlic that you can buy in the groceries. We also have a mixture in here of soy sauce, vinegar, and water. So, Julian, would you like to um, tell everyone how much soy sauce and vinegar we put in this? All right, everyone, so for the marinade, which is very important in adobo, uh, Trisha and I are just using equal parts of soy sauce and vinegar. So two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of water, and just add some pepper in there to make it as good as you want it. Um, if you want it a little bit more sour or saltier, you can always add just a little bit more soy sauce or vinegar, depending on what you prefer. So... Um, Trisha, do you have any other special ingredients that you have for this tofu adobo? Okay, I'm going to make it Trishanized by adding in, on top of that marinade, I also added some sugar, a teaspoon of sugar because I like it sweet and I like it spicy, so I'm adding some chili pepper flakes. And of course, bay leaf to make it more authentic. So that's me, Julian. How will you Julianize your tofu adobo? All right, guys. Well, I don't have that, that many extra special ingredients, but I'm just going to be adding a bowl of mushrooms. So from tofu adobo, I'm going to be making tofu and mushroom adobo. So Trisha, with all our ingredients ready, are you ready to get cooking? Ready. Let's go. All right. Everyone's excited. All right. I'm going to do the first steps, which is very easy, guys. So make sure you have your pan ready. Put in a tablespoon of water, sorry, cooking oil. Why water? Cooking oil there to make it all, you know, grease up. Doesn't Make sure it doesn't stick up on the pan. And then what you want to do is start by sauteing the garlic. So I already put some garlic here, but I'm just going to put a little bit more because I like garlic. So just put your garlic here and then wait for it to saute and, you know, like the sizzle until it turns a nice golden brown. And once you see it turn into a nice golden brown, that's when you start to add the marinade. Right? So leaving it there and it's starting to really turn nicely. Turn really nice. So it's starting to brown up a little bit. There you go. So once it's all brown, again, put your marinade in the pan and I can just start smelling that adobo so Trisha now that we've you know put it all in the pan the marinade and the garlic what are we gonna do next we are for me to make it 
nutritionized version, I'm adding in my chili pepper flakes. So depending on how spicy you would like it to be. And that bay leaf. Just a single piece, put it in there. And let this simmer for about a minute and a minute and a half, just so all the flavors come together. All right, so while we wait, Julian, I have a question for you, sent in by one of our viewers. Mary Grace oh, from Burwood. Ready? Hi, Ready. Julian. So recipes call for specific ingredients, but you can also use substitutes. You'll still get the essence of the dish, but it sometimes doesn't taste exactly when you use the original ingredient. Relating it to life, Will you go for the substitute or will you push to get the original ingredient just so you get the best of the dish? Wow, that's a very uh, deep question, Mary Grace. Uh, thank you for uh, letting me answer that question, Trisha. Um, I guess my answer is simple. When you're considering dishes, right, it's not about what the original dish is. It's not about the different ingredients that you're replacing or the substitutes. It's about looking at the whole package. And for me, um, it's always about understanding what dish you want, right? It's not about a substitute. So, you know, we all have our similarities and differences. So each dish to his own, each person to his own, right? We all have our strengths and weaknesses. So my answer is this, um, don't look at the substitute ingredients, look at the whole dish because we're cooking adobo right now, but it's not chicken adobo. We're cooking tofu and mushroom adobo in my case or crunchy tofu in Trisha's case. So that's my answer, you know, take it as a whole. It's not about the substitute. It's not about the small ingredients. It's about the whole recipe. It's about the whole dish. So yeah. Um, Nicely put. My, yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> I'm actually getting distracted by my pan because it's starting to uh, to sizzle now and simmer, and I can really smell it's good. So, Trisha, I want to ask you, now that it's simmering like this, what are we going to do next? All right. So, a while ago, Julian, I've added in my special ingredients. You might want to add your special ingredients before we add in our tofu. There you go. He's adding in the mushrooms. Yep, adding in my mushrooms just to make sure that it cooks a little bit longer than the tofu. And while Julian is doing that, I'm adding in the tofu to my mixture over here. And just mix it very well, just so each piece of the tofu is coated in that simmered marinade. There you go. Oh my gosh. It looks like adobo now. <laughs> All right, mine is done, Julian. How is yours doing? Mine's really starting to come alive. Um, I'm just about to add my tofu, and it starts to, you know, it's really making my mouth water right now because I can just smell, you know, the marinade mixing and putting in the tofu. So while you do that, Julian, I'm going to start with my plating. Shall we? Wow. All right. I am just adding in this to my bowl, my bowl. And I'll show you in a bit. Oh, oh my gosh, cool. Ta-da! For an, an extra 30 seconds more, but that really looks good, Trisha. I am surprised. And is that the bay leaf that I can see? Sorry? Yes, the bay leaf. Yeah, the bay leaf. Huh. Wow. Adding All a right. bit of art in our adobo. So you can also yeah, I'm just about ready as well. So I'm going to be putting mine in the plate ready. But guys, I think we've also reached the end of our show. And I've really enjoyed um, cooking this dish with you guys. And when you're plating, always remember to be careful. You know, it's a hot pan. So don't, um, don't put your fingers where it shouldn't be. Be careful of where it is. And that's my dish. Oops. And that's my dish, guys. Check a look at that. Mm. And tofu. So, guys, um, great hanging out with all of you. Uh, please don't forget, if you like this video, like it, leave a comment. Send us more of your recipes that you want Trish and I to try out. And like, follow, and subscribe to our socials.
Thank you again for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Enjoy cooking your tofu adobo. See you guys. Bye.